unforeseen financial resources will soon become available to you. I like that fortune. And that's Big Daddy's fortune. Can you take me on vacation? Hello? You gotta listen to your fortune. These chips are good, yes? <laughs> Say yes, little mama, I'll take you on vacation. Yes, little mama, I'll take you on vacation, but to where? The movies. Well, I guess I'll settle for that. Welcome back. Same day, different video. But thank you for being here. I'm very, very happy that you're here. And that huge collab unit, yes, we still have videos, boxes to go through. Look at that. Oh, that was a bike that we found and it's going up to the market. Brand new, by the way. Um, that's some those are boxes to go through unopened can't get it open hasn't been opened so um this toolbox i'm very curious to go through tote and a bag so as soon as i get my <coughs> that was six what's up babe what are you doing as soon as I get my lovely um, assistant over here to help me record, cameraman, we're gonna go through it. Cameraman, assistant, you okay? I got fiberglass all over me. Yes, you have seen it here. Sneezy and breezy, breezy. going through storage units. Let's go. Sneezy and breezy. Breezy. Oh, let me see. Let me stop this so I can turn it around. All right, let's go. So. You got a toolbox? Yes, I got a toolbox, and it's really heavy. Um, by the way, Big Daddy, I need my nails done. You'll be all right. No, I won't. Don't tell that lie. I'm gonna go get them done, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, wow. Look at that, trains. <laughs> That's what we've been finding this whole time. And you know what, even though it does get a little, um tedious to keep going through a whole bunch of trains this is what i'm going through money so you know how when you get a whole bunch of money look at that they're even the same kind of sort of different presidents um you start counting your money this just isn't exactly cash so i can't get a cash counter but i would call this the top like three or four hundred bucks it's way too cheap mama. just in trains but um, there's like a hundred trains in there. Do you mean to tell me an average of two dollars a train? Well, these are AM AHM, so it's not exactly like at least ten dollars a train. Uh, sometimes it's more like five bucks a train. Well, five bucks a train, so and that's why I said like 300 bucks, right? Yeah, uh, but it's an estimation, it's not exactly what's gonna a guesstimation. Know, a guesstimation that's, that's not even a word, huh? It's not a word, but it's whatever you want it to be. Ooh. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Just like life. It's whatever you want it to be. Oh, it's whatever you make of it. It's whatever you want it to be. Oh, come on. Oh, I like this. What is that? Well, some trains, but you got some parts. And people love parts because when you are a train enthusiast, what do you need for, to make your trains work? Parts, right? You know? And I'm thinking these are N scale or Z scale? N scale. Look at that. And look, that's even a receipt right there. We can see how much they pay. Bucks. H O. Okay, so it's H O. Log car. Oh no, this one is H O. Uh, H -O. I, think no. <laughs> I think it's one that you have to construct yourself. 
and it is because I can feel like pieces in here and then you have your pieces that go in there and your trucks like I said in my previous video I couldn't be an enthusiast because I would get frustrated with all those little pieces and I would just like start gluing things together but you know everyone's different so if you like trains and stuff like that go on with your bath up You gotta open the top drawer to get in that drawer. Watch out, you're gonna have trains for. Are you sure? Oh, look at that. More trains. And run, baby, run. I love you, Jenny. <laughs> you know what? Some people probably do not like us, but I love me. All right, trains, off to Can the you? next. Oh, sorry. Are you recording me? Yeah, oh, we're gonna It doesn't seem like you're paying attention. I am paying attention, but when there's big trailers driving I by my know, trailer. I know, I know. You should have moved the chair for him. Okay. Hold this. And as you can see, Big Daddy loses his focus very quickly. But yeah, that's another drawer full of trains. And I put this drawer at about 300. I'm gonna put this one at about 200 and then the bottom about 100. So what's that like? A $500 toolbox. Oh. And that looks like clothes. But the reason why I wanted to go through this one, because I thought they were vintage, like champions. Remember back back when it was really good and then it sold at Walmart and then now it's really good again? Mm hmm This is before it got sold at Walmart. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah, a lot of vintage clothing. They didn't see it. Yeah. Look at that. People wear these today, but they don't have the actual ones that were in style, you know. Back Those in, are cool. Back in like the, what, 90s maybe? Mm-hmm. I always think about that one meme. Do those fit you? I don't think so. Too big? I don't know. I'm not gonna try them on, that's what I'm trying to say, Big Daddy. Look at that. Pantyhose, get that with dog, it. Dog, dog, dog. <laughs> so pantyhose and- More pantyhose. More pantyhose. But like I said before, I like this unit because a lot of vintage what is that oh look that is a um what do you call it what are those oh that's a bathing suit that's nice I like the color on that thing huh? mm -hmm. look at that you can tell that's vintage look at her dang she looks like a kardashian <laughs> yeah that's crazy when you find stuff like this, you know what I mean? To think that this is what people really Those like. are cute. Yeah, these are really cute. You think I'll fit those? Let's try them on. I might have to try those on. But yeah, to go through units like this where stuff is untouched, it's nice to kind of um, get a glance into the past of what people used to wear. Right? Always. Look it. Those are nice. And you know what's crazy is um, people are wearing shirts like that today. And the kids are like, that's new style. No. People been wearing that. All right, so I'm not going to keep going through all the vintage clothes. Maybe one more bag. One more bag, okay? One all right, let's see. Which bag? Better be the best bag. Uh, that's a brawl bag. How about that? Uh, mm, more bedding suits. Okay, one more bag. You can't go through one more bag one more time. Five more times. <laughs> one more bag, one more bag. This one looks interesting. Maybe not. Okay, more sports bras. But look at that. When does it look like they were in their prime? Oh, look, you got them shorts. 80s, 90s? Right. Green top. 
Look at this. Can you imagine someone wearing that with some white leggings? Mm -hmm. Right? That's what I'm saying. It's a glimpse, a glimpse into a time where people really enjoy stuff like this. The 80s. Yeah. Look at that. And honestly, I think those were some really good times. I feel like stuff wasn't so complicated. Or maybe it's more complicated now, we just know. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good bag. What do you think? I think it was a good one. Do you, I think do it was one of the best ones you grabbed. Do you remember seeing- That blue is pretty. Do you remember seeing, oh my gosh, look, I just put a whole outfit together. Look at that. All right, thank you, Big Daddy, for recording. You're an awesome recorder. Sometimes, you kind of even drop a little bit and you don't record me. Hello? Oh, sorry. Gosh. Sorry, come on, what do you got there? Hot Wheels. Oh, that's a pretty cool and set. And I'm pretty sure it's got some, um, some vintage in it. -ness. 1970 Camaro included. Yeah, but like, it's a power pit. So, you know, where you stop and fill up, get some tires. Back when cars were actually good cars. They're still good cars. I mean. Well, they're still good cars now because people get them and they redo them. Right, right. Um, these are just some calendars. I'm not gonna really go through all of them. If you see some, like I said before, definitely message me. We're gonna have a lot of this stuff for a long time. Hopefully not too long, cause we have to make money baby we have to make money so and you all know that my description always has a way to contact me so if you need to contact me do so please oh and i really wanted to go through this stuff because is that all the same things yeah i think i think some of them are different yeah they're different but they're the same um how would you say like the same tv show yeah but a lot of this stuff brings back, you know, memories. Because you never watched Star Trek. I watched Star Trek. Did you really? Yes. My grandma used to love watching Star I Trek. Star Trek. And sometimes I get weirded out by like the faces and stuff like that. But I like Star Trek. Next generation. Oh, that's nice. Sealed. Right. In the box. Exactly. Um. Model kit. So. We have a lot of models Whoa, of everything. Oh, huh? that next one looks awesome. Ooh, wow. Voyager. That's nice. And you know what? I don't have a price on that's it. That's pretty. So that's actually pretty. I tight. want you to give me a guess. What do you think? I'm gonna say forty to fifty bucks a piece. USS Voyager. Dang. Star Trek was ahead of their time. Yeah, for real. Oh, look at that one. I mean, I can see us in ships like this going to the moon. That'd be cool. Yeah. Be back later. I'm it's crazy though to think that the USS this was a big spaceship platform to where moon. everybody, you know, used to walk and stuff like that. You remember? It's crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely ahead of their time. What's in the last thing? Um, I think this is some Lionel. I'm not sure. What's a sign? Oh, it's just a sign, an advertising sign. That's yeah. cool. Um, what is this? This reminds me of candy. Ooh, elegant beauty. Do you see that? I do. What is it? You ready? Oh. Oh, wow. A makeup kit. That's the whole kit right there. You've got some lipstick. Is it vintage makeup? Nail polish. <clears throat> I need my nails done. Um, some more. Oh, oh my here. camera's venturing off again. Oh, oh. Um, the camera oh. goes this way. Oh, sorry. You know what, stalker? <laughs> sorry. I don't want to have to hit you in front of everyone. <laughs> in front of everyone? <laughs> oh, is that right? I really don't. But you know what? I will. You know what's What are you crazy? doing with that, that trunk? I'm going to open it. I had, Good and luck I'm, opening it. I don't wait, think there's wait. no key. You know what's crazy is... Did you just shmee? Yeah, I did. Okay. I don't want to have to hit you in front of everyone. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. You know, I'm just playing with you, big daddy. How are you gonna open your trunk? I don't know. Well, let me get you some tools and then we'll try to beat it open. All right. All right. I sure hope there's some junk in my trunk because I could use a good box. 
Can we open it for you? Yeah. Oh, okay. See so, works. you know how Dora used to, you know, have a handy, like a backpack? Mm -hmm. I don't have a backpack. I have a storage stock. Okay. All right. Here you go. And go. Yeah, I don't have a backpack. I have a storage stalker. So if I need something, I'd be like, storage stalker. Ready for that? Uh, yes, I'm ready for that. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Hey, I found one of those earlier. Oh my God. The airplane. This looks exciting. AC adapter. Oh, so is that. Power sources and stuff to something. Yeah, something. Sierra part to accessory. That's all parts. What speaker. That? Cool. Really? That was awesome. Yeah. Avon. Avon. What is that? What the? Do you see anything? What is it? I'm not sure. Rip it open. Come on, baby. Probably makeup. Avon. Hot Wheels. Avon oh, Hot Wheels? Oh, is there a car in there? Avon made Hot Wheels? So no, that was an Avon bag, baby. Oh, and then those are just Hot but Wheels. these are just Hot Wheels. Oh, man, that might be and a special one. they're actually one. in there. Oh, wow, that might be a special one. Well, Hot those wheel. ones are unopened, so maybe I shouldn't open the rest. No, you shouldn't. What does it say on the bottom of it? Barracuda. That's a Barracuda. Look at even the little bag is Hot Wheels and you ripped it open. I know. Oh, wow. <gasps> Dummy. You made a three hundred dollar hot wheel turn into nothing. No, I mean it's still worth something. Mm. Hey, don't shoot. How me. do you feel? I'm sad. Don't open that one. I'm not gonna open it. But you can honestly see. Look, it says Viper. The Viper. That one. Firebird. And that one's a Mustang. Oh, that might be good. That's We're pretty gonna look nice. I like that. That's yeah, that pretty is. nice. It's real nice. I mean, sorry I had to open up the Barracuda. The Bar most expensive one. Barracuda. I like that word. I don't know why. That was interesting. Uh, Christmas ornaments. Okay, so these are Christmas ornaments. And I'm guessing my department. No, just Christmas 56. ornaments. Oh. Well, that's cool. What is that? Oh. More Hot Wheels. But look at that. That's awesome. I like seeing stuff like this. I've never seen that before. It is a nice high wheel. Yeah, and you have two of them. Perfect. Okay, you know what? I want to see more cars. I like to see the cars. Okay, so that's... Christmas more, stuff? Yeah, more Christmas stuff. Is that in there? Um... If it's not in there, I found one earlier and it wasn't in the box, so I'm thinking that's... You know, it's a little light, and look. It's empty. Yep, it's empty. So whatever you found, there's the box. There's the box, too. And it's always good to have something in its box because it's easier to sell it. So, don't forget. Is that a blue church? More Department 56. Can you lift that Department 56 up? Huh? Can you lift that one up? Yeah, I can lift it up. But I think that was a certain one that we were all looking for. Is it a blue church? Christmas city in the streets. Um, I don't know if it's blue. Right here, it's black and white, so. We'll figure it out. And it doesn't, uh, it's a preparatory school. It's not a church. Oh, okay. What is in that big long box? I don't know, but more Hot Wheels. Ooh. Are these receipts? Yeah. Yeah, and this was purchased, um, it doesn't have a date. Oh, 97. Dang, that's old. Come a little closer so you can see that. At 1721. That's crazy. That's crazy to purchase something and just leave it and not touch it. That is. Like, do you Most kids will open it up and play with it. But that's what I'm saying. Like, there's a lot of stuff. Unless he in was here. an adult that wasn't here you go there's a lot of stuff in here unless he was a dog collector and he just never played with it yeah but and it wasn't if hard you're for a him collector you want to put it in like a shell for oh yeah you know what i mean that's what i'm saying like it's crazy to me it's, it's actually don't cut yourself baby for me to know that there's so much stuff in using the knife purchase. backwards huh using the knife backwards you want to question me no i don't you can use it backwards all you want 
Be careful, there's a lot of peanuts and it's gonna make a big mess. So I'm guessing this is another train. Yep, these are just train tracks. Oh, those are cool. And I'm not gonna bring them out. Oh, and look, you have a pretty cool guy who's he's making the train tracks. That's nice. So, you know, I'm gonna put my crate at, I'm gonna say four or 500, because I don't know how much those Hot Wheels are worth. Are you gonna look up at the camera or are you gonna just talk to the ground the whole time? Oh, sorry. Let me know. Oh, well. Okay, but like I said, I'm gonna put my box, my crate itself at like four or 500, because I don't know. Hey, storage stalker. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, do, I don't need to look at you. They need to look at you. I'm over looking at Jack. Come on, you got this. <laughs> what? I was I'm recording not, you. I was just looking the opposite you way. I think recording. I didn't hit stop, baby. I got you. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna put my box at what, like four, four hundred ish. Yeah, for sure. Um, that was a good box. My whole pile. I'm gonna say at least two thousand. Oh wow. What do you think? That's a good pile. It's a good pile. Real good pile. I am very excited that Storage Stalker, Locker Nuts, Manny, I can't say his channel name, I'll put it in the description, Storage Auction Pirate, they gave me the chance to go through this wonderful unit and I will have the chance to put some of this on my eBay. So thank you for being here, stay tuned and like I said, if you need to get a hold of me, you know how to do it. Take care. Put music right here. Bum, bum, bum. He said, what's your paper? Sorry, one question. How much how much money do you think he spent on this unit? Like actual cash? On the rent or the items? No, the items. Just the items? Easily he spent easily a hundred grand. Yeah, easily easily a hundred grand. Yeah. Retail, matter of fact, I'm gonna put him at two hundred grand. I think so too. Retail just in underwear so he probably has fifteen grand. <laughs> Easy. 50, probably 30 grand. It's just gross. So even the other unit too? Yeah. So this dude is probably half a million dollars in on storage bills, all his stuff, and the two storages. All right, you heard it here. Half a million dollars. Half a million dollars. Money spent. 40,000 in rent. Storage, soccer, locker nuts, and... 100,000 in just that. Storage, docks, and pirate. Oh, and Manny. Yes, baby. All right. The trash is wrapped up. That's trash. No matter what anyone says. Closed up. Almost closed up. And you can see my hair looks a hot mess because I've been working all day. I'm tired. Ready for some more food. Yes, I'm ready for food because what happens when you work? You burn your fuel. And I'm ready to go. Relax. I have a birthday party tomorrow and this weekend. So I have a lot of planning. Say hi to the guys. Hi, fellas. Catch you next time.